So, welcome to the Baldwinsville Library staff interview moment. I'm here with Meg Van Patten, director of the Baldwinsville Library, who will be stepping down on October 31st of this year. Glad to have you. Thank you. Uh, first, I wanted to congratulate you on your 45 years of library service. Thank you. Did you have any idea that you would stay in libraries this long? I think I probably did, because I decided in sixth grade that that's what I wanted to do. Really? So when I was 16, back in 1970, I walked into my neighborhood library on the south side of Syracuse. That branch isn't there anymore. In fact, it closed while I was working there. Asked for job shelving books as a page, and two weeks later, that's what I started doing and did it through high school, college, grad school, and worked a few months in the old Carnegie Building downtown as a librarian before coming out here, and yeah. So that was your first job? Yep, shelving books. Wow. In a small library where the collection was books, pamphlets, magazines, and a picture file. And the picture file was comprised of pictures that the librarian had me cut out of old magazines, <laughs> put a little sticker in the corner with the subject, and put them in a file drawer. Wow. What they use them for? People, when they were looking for pictures of things, because... There was no internet back then, so, <laughs> you know, if they were looking for images of things, and, you know, kids with their subjects for school and things. Yeah. Yeah, they would put them in an envelope and then check them out for three weeks, just like a book. But that was it. Black rotary dial phone with one extension, a manual typewriter, and the old Gaylord stamping machine. Wow. So while I thought, yeah, libraries, yeah, I would probably be in it for a long time. <clears throat> What I did not foresee or expect is the changes over those, well, since 1970, over those years. Yeah. So but they've been good changes. I think so. I think so. So what was your first impression of uh, Baldwinsville when you first came here? Well, um, I first had to look at a map. I live in Syracuse in the valley section, the southern tip of the city. I thought Baldwinsville was on the other side of DeWitt, and so I had to get the map out. I remember coming to Baldwinsville as a kid. My father and I came out. There was a boat coming through the canal system, and they had exhibits and things on it. And then um, my brother had a newspaper distributorship, and Baldwinsville was part of his route. Well, then he took a second job. He had one job at GE, took a second job with Bristol, so, um, or so, yeah, Bristol, I think it was. And so until he got, sold his distributorship, my father would take care of it, and I came out with him one time, at, you know, like we went down to the newspaper at like four in the morning, got the newspapers, dropped them off for the different paper boys and things, and then went to the Beeville Diner at like six in the morning. <laughs> So that was my experience at Baldwinsville until I came to interview when we were in the building on Char or Swigo Street. And my first impression of the Beaver Library when I walked in was, oh wow, this looks like a nice new library. <laughs> of course, when I started working, I found out, no, it was in Old Woolworths. We had um, some of the walls had pegboard. Some of the shelving was not library shelving, it was fixed shelving from Woolworths. Yeah, back in the break room, it was, you know, furniture they called from a couple places, and when they had carpeted the library proper, they took some scraps of the carpeting, taped them together with brown book tape, and that was the carpet in there, so. It was a little different than what I expected at first, but it was, um, it was, you know, still a great library in terms of the staff and working with the public and things. Yeah, that's great. So, uh, what do you feel is your greatest accomplishment being a director of this library? Um, certainly when Marilyn was director and I was the assistant librarian, reference librarian, um, <clears throat> the role I had in helping to design this building that we're in now um, was able to do a lot and have a lot of input on the inside of it. The board told Marilyn that, you know, 
they were going to the outside and we could have our say on the inside and they were they were very good about it and then of course the children's room were the renovations mm -hmm. and getting the boat in because the boat was part of the original design mm -hmm. of the building and they just didn't have the money for it at the time yeah it's beautiful so, I love it <laughs> and the fact that when I first came to Beeville Library um, there was a human services council that it was different organizations in the community and they didn't think of the library and Sonia, the director at the time, the one who hired me, went to them and said, hey, well, as it worked out, the meetings were the second one, say, the month in the morning and Sonia had the library board meeting at night, so she had me go to the Human Services Council meetings. And from that, as we continued to do more and more with outreach, and I got involved in different groups, um, we got to the point where now, instead of us going and saying, hey, yo, we're mm -hmm. here, um, people come to us. Mm -hmm. And so we've had a lot of good outreach in those kinds of contexts. Yeah. So uh, what's in store for afterwards, after you retire? Well, a lot of people said, you're going to take trip? Maybe someday, I don't know, I would love to. I always said if I had lots of money, I would uh, travel. But, um, so I belong to a Catholic church up at Ondaga Hill, and they twin with a parish in Haiti, up in the hills in Haiti. Mm -hmm. And I'm on that committee, and I said I would do more with that. I will stay active in the Baldwinsville Rotary Club as just an individual member, Nancy Howe, who's replacing me as director, will be the library point person with them. And about two weeks after my last day is the New York State Library Conference, mm -hmm. and it's in Syracuse this year. So I'm working up some things with some other local librarians for local arrangements, local hospitality, a couple local tours and things. And then at the conference, I will finish my term as immediate past president of the public library section. And I will start my term as a vice president, president-elect of the friends of the library section. Oh, wow. So I'll still have a hand in stuff with libraries. Like and that. I got lots of work to do around the house. <laughs> Don't we all? So thank you for talking with us. Anytime. We wish you well in the future. Thank you. Don't and I know <laughs> it'll, oh no, also actually, I am going to do the gingerbread houses again. Oh, I said okay. I would yes. volunteer and do that. But yeah, with this staff and Nancy, the library is in great hands. Yeah, that's good to hear. Okay. Yeah. Well, this is Jackie Owens, and we're signing off. Wonderful.